Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you can't already tell by the title, I'm going to be telling you all my engagement story. Now if you've been with me since my first video, which wasn't that long ago, it was at the end of last year, then you know I am engaged. I have mentioned it several times, but I haven't actually told you guys the story about how I got engaged. I have been thinking about starting this kind of wedding Wednesday series, if you will, to just kind of chronicle. I'm going to use the wrong word. I was going to say chronalize. Let's just go with document so we can document my wedding planning story slash saga because that is definitely what it's turned into. So, if you are interested and want to hear all about how my wonderful fiancé proposed to me and get to see the ring and hear about our future wedding plans, then stay tuned. So, first of all, background information. The man I am engaged to, his name is Zach. We have actually known each other since I was 15. Um, so, about 13, 14 years. I am originally from Boston, Massachusetts, and I moved down to Georgia my eighth grade year summer before my eighth grade year um and I started at East Paulding High School then I didn't meet him until actual high school I went to East Paulding High School as well so right after eighth grade could have probably just jumped to high school but anyways we met in high school he was a year older than me um and he wrestled and played football with my twin brother um and we had a lot of mutual friends uh my best friend was actually friends with his group of friends and so we our paths kind of always crossed uh, we hung out a lot actually after high school we probably hung out more than we did in high school um, and that was just by pure coincidence like I said we kind of ran with the same group of people so we spent a lot of time together we never ever looked at each other as anything more than just hey hey how are you what are you doing you know do you have a good weekend or a good week or what are we getting into tonight like it was never it was never anything more than a friendship um, we were both always dating people or you know we were back then we were very different people than we are now so we weren't very compatible so I think we just never even considered it um, but we remained friends and he actually ended up getting a job where I work now so he started about a month after I did um, and you know, still just friends, really excited to see each other. We hadn't seen each other in probably, I'd say like a year. So, um, it was just nice to kind of catch up and hang out again and didn't think anything of it. Um, little did I know though, he was thinking certain things. So, um, he actually asked me out and funny story about that is, um, it took me, he asked me out and it took me about an hour or two to figure out that it was a date. Because that's just how we, we just, it never crossed my mind that it was a date. So I was like scrolling through my text like, wait a minute, is this a group thing? Like, did he mention anybody else? I'm not seeing anybody else's names. Like, I'm confused. Till I finally just flat out asked him. I was like, is this a date? Because I'm, I'm a little lost, is it? Because if it is, I want to mentally be prepared. I don't want to be showing up in a t-shirt and yoga pants. That's when he told me, yeah, it is, it's a date. And I was just like, well played, sir. So flash forward to now. Um, we've literally been together every day since that first date. So I'm really happy that I said yes. Um, we have been together probably a year when he, yeah, no, I'm probably, what am I saying? It was the day after our year anniversary that he actually asked me to marry him. Um, I didn't know this, but he had gone to my house the day before Valentine's Day and asked my parents. My dad um, works in and out of town, so to get them kind of like together at the same time was, I guess, a really big challenge for him. So um, when dad was home, he was like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it now. Mind you, he asked the day before Valentine's Day we did not get engaged until September 3rd. So he had been planning this for a while. And like I said, September 3rd was the day after our one year anniversary. So this is so funny because he is sneaky, 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 but in a good way. Um, we have this thing, like I said, I'm originally from Massachusetts. Um, most of my family still lives up there. Um, I have 
a twin brother, as I mentioned, that lives down in Florida. Um, he and my niece come up once um, every year. They come up like in September. It's in September they come for a week and just kind of hang out and you know spend time together. And my oldest sister um, has actually my youngest nephew, and they my youngest nephew and my niece hadn't met so we've been trying for the last three years pre Zach to get everybody together so that everybody could meet um so just to kind of set the stage for you this is the day after our one year anniversary the majority of my family is in town however to me it's all very organic because like I said my older sister and my brother have been trying to get the two cousins together so they could meet so when she tells me that she's coming the same time my twin is I don't think anything of it. We've literally been doing this for three years. I had only been with Zach for a year at this point. So he had nothing to do with that in my head. Um, my old, other older sister, Carrie, was like, well, if you're going to go, I want to go too. That's not out of the ordinary. Okay. So they decide to come. Um, my grandmother decides to come too. But once again, it was all so organic but really it was just orchestrated is what it was but everybody had a reason for being there that didn't set any alarms off in my head because it was all for a reason it all made sense it was all logic it wasn't oh you know we're just gonna show up and surprise like there was nothing that I didn't know about so or that I thought there was a ton I didn't know about but I thought I knew everything so Everybody's here for the weekend. I'm super excited because it's very rare that my entire family gets to get together, um, especially all my siblings. So I was super pumped for the weekend. And it was just a perk that, you know, it was my one year anniversary that Saturday, that Friday, excuse me, with Zach. And we just spent it with my family. So how we ended up at the aquarium is actually was my plan too. So I don't even know. I don't even know. That was my plan as well. I really, I volunteer at the Georgia Aquarium and I really, really, really wanted my nieces and nephews to get to see it because it's so amazing. If you haven't gone, you've got to go check it out. It is spectacular. One of the best aquariums I've ever been to and I've been to several and it's just magnificent. Like I just think it's so beautiful. It's so awesome. So I naturally wanted to take my niece and nephew. I just thought that they had to see it. So once again, I'm still... <sighs> just hanging out having a good time I don't know what the hell is going on apparently because in my head it's my plan like we're going to the aquarium because I want to because I suggested it so I'm still not thinking anything at this point we've literally got I don't even know how many people at least oh god I want to say 13 people from out of town hanging out with us so I'm literally like cool you want to come great you can't make it that's fine too like there's too many of us, as it is, rolling deep to the aquarium. Which, it is a big aquarium, but my god, it, we just had a lot of people with us. So, um, I have this thing where I get a little anxious if I feel like we're in a big group of people, especially family members, and I feel like people aren't getting along. So, my mom and Zach kind of played up a little bit more drama than what was necessary. So, my mind was like trying to figure out what was going on with everybody and trying to just keep everybody I don't even know what I was trying to do I was just at that point by the time I got to the aquarium I was just trying to make it I was trying to be a survivor at the aquarium um, Zach actually told me that he had surprised me and gotten us behind the scene tours and it was um, just something that we could do by ourselves, and it was like our one-year thing. So I thought that was the big surprise. You know, he'd gotten us behind-the-scenes tours, and it was just like a, just a thing for us to do, 45 minutes to ourselves, which at that point, loved my family, but it was kind of needed. We just wanted 30 minutes to ourselves. So we did the behind-the-scenes tour, which was fantastic. Once again, if you haven't done it, highly recommend it, especially if it ends the way mine did. Um, so we go... The, it was just like us. It was just us on a tour. I had never done an actual behind the scenes tour. I'd been behind the scenes a little bit because I volunteered there, um, but I'd never actually had a tour, so I didn't know how they worked. You know, it was just us two and a guide, and I thought, okay, it's a low day at the aquarium, whatever. Um, so the tour was amazing. Um, we had talked to our family prior to the aquarium does like a little trivia thing with the divers in the tank every day. They do it a couple times a day, I think. 
and um, they just like the divers plug into like a PA system and they talk to the crowd. The auditorium, it's not even really like an auditorium, but it's the big tank um, at the aquarium. So there's tons and tons and tons of space for people to sit. So we had kind of said, okay, this is our meeting point. We're going to come back right here. Everybody meet. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there because our tour ends there. We'll all meet up with you guys. Still not thinking anything because they end at the big aquarium. Like that wasn't something Zach had them make up. Like it actually does that. I know this because once again I volunteer there. Um, so we come down after our tour. Everybody's there just kind of sitting, hanging out, waiting for the show to start. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's cool to talk to somebody underwater when you yourself are not underwater. It's, it's kind of weird, but it's fun. Um, so they do trivia, like I said, and they pick volunteers from the crowd. So the guy that actually was the one doing the um, trivia was one of the guys that was a part of our behind the scenes tour. So when he asked for volunteers, I was like, oh, we'll do it, you know, and he picked us. I'm still not thinking anything because I've done the trivia show. Like, you're just trying to find the two most normal people to get this going. Um, so he picked us. We go up. And, you know, they're asking me all these questions about fish. And they're having me do all these things with my hands. And I'm like, okay, you know. So they tell me, they're like, okay, well, turn around and you're about to see something amazing. I'm actually thinking they're trying to scare me. Uh... And I can't. Like, I'm already, it's so weird that I volunteer at the aquarium that I love the ocean and the aquarium so much because I'm deathly afraid of sharks. Like, unnaturally afraid of sharks. I know everybody's afraid of sharks because nobody wants to get eaten. I am slightly convinced at some point in my life I will get bitten by a shark. Don't ask me why, but that's how I feel. So I think I'm about to turn around and there's going to be a giant shark or this ugly fish. And I'm kind of like, you can see... In the clip, I'll show you, I hesitate because I'm like, no, like you ain't snow in the snowman hair. No, thank you. I'm not about to be scared. But I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll play along. So I kind of brace myself for the scare. So I'm like, hang on, I'm not going to flinch. Like, they're about to see. I turn around and there is actually a big black mass behind me. So at first I'm a little like, oh my God, like they really are trying to scare me. And I have to kind of back up a little bit and let my eyes adjust because the tank is so bright and I'm right there and... I see this big black mass, which turns out to be a diver, and he's holding this little bitty wooden fish. I saw the word Mary. I turn around. Zach is on one knee. I don't even know. I just start crying, and it's an ugly cry. Like, they say, you know, I would love to have told you, like, I was very composed and very ladylike and very, you know, classy. No, it was a full-on ugly cry. I blacked out. Like, there was no even keeping it in, keeping it under control. I blacked out. I don't even know if Zach said anything. I had no idea. I literally almost knocked the ring out of his hand, because I wasn't even paying attention to that, and jumped on him, basically. Like, hugged him. Almost knocked him over. Almost knocked the ring out of his hand. I was the, like, so ungraceful. It was ridiculous. And I'm just crying. This whole time I'm crying. He, you know, picks me up, and we're hugging, and he puts, finally gets the ring on my finger, because at this point, I'm still, like, I don't even know where I am at this point, um, and, you know, we're hugging and kissing, and my whole family's there, and this, an auditorium has erupted into cheers, because at this point, I honestly realized there's, like, a hundred plus people in this room, and I probably only know 30 of them. I don't even know who these other 75 plus are, and everybody's just yelling and cheering, and it's just... It was literally the, it was one of the craziest things I've ever experienced. Um, and I still get emotional when I talk about it. This is so stupid. <laughs> um, it was one of the craziest things I had ever experienced. So we finally, um, he somehow gets me off of him because I'm still hugging him at this point. Um, and I turn around and not only is the family there that I know of, but his entire family is there too. All the people have these last minute, you know, hiccups. Everybody's there, his sisters, um, their kids, husbands. Um, his best friend actually showed up. His cousin, who I have become very close to that lives in Florida. I'm like, what in the world is going on? My best friend had taken um, 
her son's, I'm going to try to insert a clip of it. Um, she had taken his little button-up shirt off and on it, it said, congratulations, Auntie Danny and Uncle Zach. And I'm just like, oh my God, like literally every single person knew about this. Everybody knew but me. Um, my mom's crying. Everybody's crying. We're all hugging. He arranged for a professional photographer <laughs> to be there. I'm obsessed with pictures and video, obviously. Um, and he arranged for a professional photographer to be there. So it's all caught, like, in pictures. Um, everyone in my family, you know, filmed it. It was literally the most insane thing I have ever experienced in my life. <laughs> that I could possibly have wanted it was amazing we get done and I'm kind of I feel bad because at this point everybody has paid to get into the aquarium we've only been there you know not even an hour and I, everybody's like oh well do you want to leave what do you want to do and I'm like you know what let's just at least go to the dolphin show and then I'll let you know how I feel after that I was so overstimulated the dolphin show ended and I said no I need to leave I need to get a drink and I need to eat and I need to sit down because all that adrenaline had left me and I crashed so hard um, but it was so amazing it was god it was absolutely perfect um, we went the rest of the day that we were at the aquarium everybody was you know coming up and congratulating us I didn't even know these people another cool surprise that they hit me with was um, I had planned a cookout because my whole family was in town and I wanted everybody to hang out and we have a, a pool in our backyard and Zach was like oh well you know that cookout that you've been planning and I was like yeah and he's like well that's actually our engagement party and I was just like okay now so about the ring I have been following Andrea Garza for quite a while and I fell in love with her engagement ring. Um, it's a Morganite and it was set in a rose gold set. It was in a rose gold setting is what I'm trying to say. Um, but mostly it was the Morganite that really caught my eye. I'm obsessed with pink. It is one of my favorite colors and everybody knows it. Um, so when I saw that it was a light pink stone, I was like, yes. Zach did get me a Morganite and like I said, he got it from the same place um, that Alexandria Garza's ring is from. Mine is an oval halo um, and it has this, the diamonds on the side. It's, um, you know, smaller diamonds on the side. He actually ordered the band with it when he got it, uh, the ring because at the base of the diamond is like a little circle. So you had to get the band to kind of like, that goes around it, that matches it. Um, so he just got it all at once. And he, I don't even know how long he had it. I think months. I think he had it for months. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to be inserting a clip um, of it right now. It is absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with my engagement ring. I don't leave the house without getting a compliment on it. And I don't care if you think that sounds braggy. Because it is. And I'm not mad about it. One of my main things that I'm obsessed with about it is, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but there's actual like diamonds on the prongs. Let me see if I'll focus. Pull it back a little bit. There's actual like diamonds on the prongs and I didn't realize that at first and it actually so like the little base around it has diamonds and then the prongs have diamonds. Um, and I'm just 
blown away by it. Every day that I look at it, I just can't even believe that it's, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And he actually picked out, you know, a really, like, perfect ring. I mean, it's, it's exactly what I wanted. There's not one thing I don't like about it. You know how sometimes you'll be like, oh, I like it, but if it was, you know, no. There are no buts. This is absolutely like me. If I was a ring, this would be me. So that's why I own it. So, as far as wedding plans go, if you're kind of been wondering this whole time why I'm just now making a video about this, it's because after we got engaged, we talked about it, and we just kind of wanted to enjoy being engaged. We didn't have a whole lot of plans. We didn't know what we wanted to do, where we wanted to get married. We just wanted to take a second and just enjoy the fact that, like, we have fiancés now, and I'm actually really glad we did it. We haven't rushed through anything. Um, we ended up actually taking that time and really exploring what we kind of wanted to do, and we've decided on a destination wedding. We both have a lot of family, and we have a lot of friends. Um, it was just going to be too much um, to have it here. I mean, weddings are outrageous. They're so outrageous, and we just wanted to go somewhere and have a good time and spend that time with people, and, you know, sometimes I think weddings just come and go, and they're over in the day, and it's just, you know, like I said, it's a rarity that my whole family is able to get together, so I figured, you know what, I want to do a destination wedding, and I want to make a weekend out of it and have everybody spend time together, and I just don't want it to blow by if me over in the blink of an eye. So we have decided to do Destination Wedding. We actually go, by the time this video goes up, it'll be a week, we'll be going to uh, the hotel that I think we will be getting married at. Um, that'll be all in my next video, so I'm not going to spoil that, but we are going to go. We're going to go check it out and see if it really fits us, and I'm thinking it does. We're getting pretty awesome deals on everything but we're not sacrificing because the hotel itself is absolutely gorgeous. So um, I think it's going to be a really good fit for us. And we're really excited. You know, we've, we've taken that time. We took the breath. We figured out what we wanted to do. And now we're ready to just jump in and start figuring it all it out. Um, the only thing I'm not looking forward to now is that the dieting and working out because... I have to go try on wedding dresses at some point and I am not feeling that at all right now. So anyways, <laughs> back on track. That's another whole video. We can talk about that wedding dress, shopping, trying on, whatever. Um, I have several ideas of things that I like. Nothing concrete yet. I haven't even gone to a store and looked at anything. I'm just saving that until I'm in a better headspace with all that is. So um, the next video will probably be me just talking about my adventures with a destination wedding planning because I've been doing it for about two to three months now and it is not as easy as I thought. So that concludes my very, very long documentary on my engagement. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for next Wednesday when we'll go and do it all over again. Thanks guys.